Six years later. Relation 216. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. Okay. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. GOAT Why exam? Not? You've got a GOAT to take. But I'm sick, really. What is a GOAT? The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the Vault takes it when they're 16. This must Just be more character out building what sort stuff. Of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. No, no I wouldn't sleep. Says, we are born in the Vault, we die in the Vault. Oh, Each I've heard is that tested before. To determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all Vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Sounds like Marx. Hmm. Let's get some interesting new dialogue choices. Do we have to die in the vault? Can't we ever leave? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the overseer. I want to mm. tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're you kind of sad all of a sudden. Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Well, it's not going to be a very interesting game if I'm stuck in the vault the whole time. Is it true, Dad? Has never been born in the vault? That's what the overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. Hmm. Can we talk about, you know, Mom? Your mother... She, she was beautiful, but beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. Aww. And she was passionate about life, about love. But most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When look she at that far off look he gets in his eyes. I had ever seen her. Ah, she had great things in mind for you. And so... Time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Ugh. Garbage burner. Quest added, future imperfect. Bye, Dad. Take care, son. Now get out of here, and good luck. Get to class and talk to Mr. Broch about the goat. Oh, yeah, well, there we go. You can zoom in. Use right mouse to zoom in. I guess Dad's a doctor, huh? Look at all those. Take hot plate, eh? Take medical clipboard. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Sure did. Hi, Jonas. Hi, Jonas. Have you had a chance to look over these results? I was just going That's over them. not what you're saying. Something you're worried about? I'd just like to keep an eye on it. No problem. Hmm. I'll have my report ready this afternoon. Something Sounds up in good. the vault? Let me know if there are any changes. Good luck with the goat, buddy. Bobblehead, eh? You found a Vault Tech Limited Edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, The smart man knows a bandage only hides his wounds. Your medicine skill has been permanently increased by 10 points. Interesting. Always make sure to take every possible thing. That's what makes Fallout so great. Ooh! Rabco Industries, eh? Patient Files. Freddy Gomez. Freddy's VDS is getting worse. Most days he can't even get out of bed. When he does manage to function, Freddy hides his insecurities and low self-esteem behind a bully's mask. Vault at... Voltec medical protocols dictate the prescription of anti-anxiety medication when Volt depressive syndrome is involved. But do I really want to string the kid out on chlor... chlor... 
Chlor per for the rest of his life. Stanley continues to suffer from severe and chronic head pain. I've been feeding him aspirin like it's candy, but I'm reticent to give him anything stronger. He blames the lighting in these quarters, and though eye strain is certainly compounding the problem, the headaches are actually a symptom of overwork and lack of sleep. Knowing Stanley and the schedule the overseer has him on, the problem isn't likely to be to get better anytime soon, so it's aspirin indefinitely. Interesting. Amada. Once again, the overseer has... <laughs> Remember, medical files are confidential. Once again, the overseer has insisted on being in the room for Amada's examination, throwing any inkling of doctor-patient confidentiality right out the window. I know he doesn't trust me. He never has. But I honestly believe the reason he attends his daughter's medical appointments is that he doesn't trust her. That's as ridiculous as it is sad. Amat is a great girl, and the chance of her doing something stupid. Pregnancy, syphilis, whatever, is so unlikely it's not even worth mentioning. Hmm. Experiments, eh? The cells are still replicating normally. No mutation. Thank God. If whatever's out there could penetrate this vault, I can't even begin to imagine what the overseer would do. Hmm. After borrowing a few more water chips and rewriting some of the power here in the clinic, I've finally been able to affect the latest sample. It's not much, but considering what I have to work with, it's work with it. I, but considering what I have to work with it, a definite step in the right direction. But this new experiment was also monumental for another reason. It's the first time Jonas has assisted me. He's suspected forever, I know, so I guess it was inevitable, and his help has been invaluable. I just hope he knows what he has gotten himself into. Oh, intriguing. Very intriguing. Okay, then. Let's get out of exit. Interesting. What else can we do? Open locker. Oh, you can put stuff in the locker. Well, I don't want to put my jumpsuit in there. That would be silly. Whoops. No. Exit is E. Look at them reel the reels. Hmm. What else is there to abscond with? Beakers? X rays? Nah, I better get going. I'll be with you as soon as I can. Hmm. Open toolbox. <gasps> Paint gun, eh? Yoink. Mine now. Rooting around through shelves already. Ooh, that's fancy. Oh, I've seen these in Fallout 1. It's kind of cool seeing them, like, three-dimensional. Ooh, like patient samples, eh? Or something. Oh, I can crouch. Now I'm hidden. Apparently. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, detected. Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes. Uh oh. Show you a real tunnel snake, What's going on out there? Something is happening in a place that Go I can't tell you. Daddy Good off. luck with the goat, buddy. Who's getting why do I get out of here? No. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I hope Jonas can take a look at us soon. Snake. Nothing in the locker. Let's go into the store. Poor room, I'll show you a good time. She's nothing, Butch. How do I That's get out of here? Daddy's oh, hey. Gonna cry. Hey, Tell quit her, being Butch. a. Yeah. What do you want? Oh man, there's like greasers of the future. What's going on here? You guys are some kind of gang. Is that it? Only the baddest gang in Vault 101. Like you don't know. We rule this vault, and what we say goes. Yeah, we'll right. Way, if you know what's good for you. What's going on here? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you what? mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? If you keep messing with her, the overseer is going to come down on your gang. Leave her alone, or you'll answer to me. And who are you? Her boyfriend? Ha! Keep talking like that, boy, and we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. No, I'm just a guy who likes to punch people. Let's punch people! Come You've on! You gotta be kidding me! Come on, tunnel snakes! This twerp needs another lesson. Butch, stop oh. it! Leave him alone! Oh. Oh, yeah. 
Give him another one. Teach you to mess anything. with the tunnel snakes. Ugh. I'll punch you in the face. Please stop fighting. There's three of you and one of me. I like those odds. Yeah, punch those guys. You fight like girls. Come on, hit him. Punch you so much. Is that me making noises? This isn't solving anything. Sure it is. I'm punching people. Losers Punch that guy in the face. This time the lesson will stick. Yeah, punch that guy. Back and forth. Critical strike on Butch. Yeah, he's a jerk. Beat you Please, up, you dumb. Snakes, this little you... bitch isn't worth our time. Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. Talk yeah, get out of here, you stupid. Fine. Let's go. Dumb guys. Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Yeah, well, there's a lot of idiots in the future. How's my uh, hit points? Did I get like punched a lot? I guess. Melee weapons, eh? Well, how do I put my fists away? Ooh. Um. Put fist away. Put. How do I put fist away? Help. When you are hurt. Oh, I should go see a doctor, I guess. Um. How do you use settings, controls? Uh, put weapon away. Block? You can block? Hmm. Grab, eh? Hmm. I don't seem to be able to. I want to put my fists away, but I can't. Daddy, I got beat up. Help. Come on, pal. You're fine, and you know it. I just You're got punched a bunch. A sixteen year old boy. So, you need to get to class to take your goat exam. No excuses. Okay. Whoops. Oh no, the game locked up again. Whoa, no, maybe it didn't. Continue. That's strange. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Bye, Dad. Take care, son. Now get out of here, and good luck. Well, I was just hoping that maybe you would fix me up, because I got punched a lot. Ugh. Look at all this blood. I hope most of it isn't mine. Where am I going? This way? No, not that way. Atrium. Classroom. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Okay. I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. Interesting. You be the first class in history to fail the goat, do you? Where, where am I supposed to sit? Hey. Oh, hello. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. Well, class of like eight. Yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure Mr. Thing, Delorean. Mr. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, 
I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What? What's your response? Wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity? Uh, hmm. Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. Uh-oh. What do you do? Uh... Medicate the infected area. Restrain the patient and observe as the infection spreads. Um... Um... Medicate, Question I guess. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. Aww. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. Uh oh. What do you do? Uh, turn him into the authorities. Confiscate the stolen property by force and leave the boy there as punishment? Um. Leave the boy to safety and then turn him into the overseer. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll pick his pocket. Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which There's more than one? Soccer? You queer. I want to be the DH. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What kind what of test do? is this? Um. Uh, I, uh, ask Granny for a minigun. Okay. Six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Um, use a bobby pin, trade a, <laughs> train a vault hoodlum for his cherry bomb. I like the laser pistol option. Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation. What? Your mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? What the hell? Um. Well, we've already been on the laser course, so let's Question do eight. more lasers. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic <gasps> Grognak! You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Trade the comic book for one of your own valuable steel. The comic book at come points. Sneak in steal. I'm gonna steal it from him. Question 9. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. Liam you Neeson? A restroom when no one is looking, and... Loosen the bolts on some pipes when the sink is turned on. The restroom will put a firecracker in the toilet, break into the lock... Replace his high blood pressure met... That would kill him! What?! What the hell kind of vault is this? It's full of... Scum and villainy! Um, I don't know. I wouldn't want to do any of these things. This kind of sounds Question like a jerk-ass thing. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? Oh, no. Who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland? <laughs> and to whom we owe everything we have in our lives? <laughs> Pencils down, people. That's okay. it. The infamous goat. Oh, that's funny. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Okay. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. How do you, you can fail have the, the rest goat? Of the day off to celebrate or to pray, as the situation warrants. All right, out of the. We'll talk to your little friend later. <laughs> Oh. What? What do you want, nerd? Nerd? Here you are, Mr. You Bodge. again. I hope what did I, did I okay. tell you about talking to me, huh? I don't want to catch a case of the nerd from you. Let's see. I should punch you in the 
face. Well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track. How about this guy? Look, Square, I already Thanks. told you. We got See nothing tomorrow. to say to each other. This vault is full of assholes. I'm done. And ah, stereotypes. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Is that LeVar Burton? Allow me to savor the moment. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Really? What did you score? Interesting. Yoink. You surprised me, Butch. I didn't think you had it in you. Ha! <laughs> Ooh, what a thunk. Ha! 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 You're so full of it. That is Ha! 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 Uh-oh. Look at him getting his man on already. Well done, Mr. Brotch. I guess. Uh, wait a second. Can I have it back? I think I need to change one of my answers. Just calm down a minute, Paul. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Just as I thought. You're slated for the engineering track. Congratulations, engineering? Mr. Hannon. You've passed the goat. Oh, gee. That's not so bad. Engineering, all right. Snake life forever. Huh. Mother can't wait to find out if I'll be going into science or home economics. Science. <laughs> uh, well, perhaps. <laughs> well, well. Maintenance department. I Maintenance your department? Will be pleased. I'm sure Stanley will be. What? That's impossible. I'm telling father. He won't let you get away with this. Hey there. Hiya. Here, what's the stupid test say I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life? Delivery boy. Now, now, Susie, is that any way to talk about the infallible goat? You will be... <clears throat> you'll be going into teaching. No doubt due to your gift for communication. Don't worry, it isn't as bad as it sounds. I thought what I figured. I guess I'll see you around, Edwin. Edwin? Good to see you. We're not friends. We're never going to be friends. Got it? Everybody in this vault sucks. I'm here. Don't you want to find out what you got? Now nah, I already know what it says. Hardly takes a rocket scientist to crack that joke of a test. Okay. Who's left? This guy. I can't figure out number five. First, I think I should listen to my grandmother. But then, isn't killing someone wrong? Mmm, usually, not always. Ugh. Due next week, Big Book of Science, page 927. Christine Kendall puts out... Central themes of Charles Dickens' Bleak House, the role of the mother figure, poverty, romance, bureaucracy. Brotch the crotch. That's great. It's nice to know I can still be surprised. Pedicurist. What? I might have guessed manicurist, or even masseuse, but apparently, you're a foot person. <laughs> I just answered randomly. Is that how you got stuck with your job? Ha! Closer to reality than you might think. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously, and look where I ended up. Just between you and me. The whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Energy weapons, medicine, and sneak. What do those have to do with pedicures? Does sound pretty good. <clears throat> hmm. Small guns? I like... Small guns. Fat man, missile launcher, flamer, minigun, and gatling laser. How many energy weapons are there in the future? Well, small guns are cool too. I like sneak. I'm a sneaky bastard. Done. Time to go. Hey, what did you put for number 10? I don't remember. 
Uh, the Overseer. Hey, look! It's those assholes. Thank you for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Also check out my other recent videos.